Hello everyone! This is Running On Empty Food Review! Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome, one and all, to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thanks for checking in. So, normally, I don't go such a short period of time, I should say, these days, from one upload to the next, but if you are a regular viewer, I'm sure you've obviously noticed it's only been a day since I've done a review. And I'm right back here at the camera because as soon as I saw the news, I was blown away. I thought, wow, McDonald's, you know, they go big. And this is no exception. They have dropped a new meal, as they say, and this one, forget sleep, Forget everything else, I gotta try this out. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. This isn't just any meal. Yes, it's a McDonald's meal, but it's more than that. This is the as featured in meal. You ever watch uh, TV or movies or music videos and you see the product placement in them? You see the main character eating a Big Mac or... Uh, conveniently snacking while they have the, the brand displayed, right? Well, now, you can go to McDonald's and you could buy the same thing that your favorite movie star bought, well, probably actually didn't buy it, probably sort of, sort of like a brand deal type of thing, but forget that, that your favorite movie star ate in a movie at some point. And now you could say, wow, I'm just like that person and I'm eating the same thing that they ate. So, it's a special meal deal comprised of items that were featured in uh, various pieces of media over the years, and you could select a couple choices here. Uh, you could have a Big Mac, you could substitute it, so you've got three choices. You could get the Big Mac meal, which is what I got, you can get the Quarter Pounder meal, or you can get the 10-piece Chicken McNugget meal. It also comes with a medium french fries, a medium soft drink, and sweet and sour sauce. So all these items were featured in various pieces of media over the years, and now you can pay a bit extra and uh, get them yourself. You might say, what's so funny, Review Bra? Are you having a mental breakdown on us? No, I'm, I'm not. I just can't help but laugh. You see, when I do these reviews, especially for these sorts of meal deals, I try to assess these sorts of items uh, from two different angles. Of course, quality-wise, uh, but also conceptually. And I've had a problem with McDonald's doing this before. Uh, where they'll take the same items and they'll just repackage them and then increase the price uh, quite a bit. But this is the uh, this is the best one yet, where uh, it's like, okay, I, I could have just gotten this meal. I could have gotten this a week ago. I could have gotten this a year ago. I could, you, you could have gotten this 25 years ago. There is nothing special about this. There is nothing. All right, they have the packaging a little uh, a little themed. I'll give them that. But aside from that, this is a regular Big Mac. This is a regular fries. This is a regular soft drink. And this is regular sweet and sour sauce. It's just a regular McDonald's meal. But it's the as featured in meal. So that makes it special. And uh, I just can't get over that. That's why I had such a hard time even, even saying it because I just find it so funny to me. Uh, the fact that everyone's hyped up about this when I think, but you could have gotten this, you could have gotten this decades ago. There's, there's nothing to this. But anyway, for the sake of it, I'll try it out anyway, see how the quality is, but just understand. And I'm not saying this, to, you know, it, it just is what it is. This is just a regular McDonald's meal that you could have gotten any time. There's, there's nothing special about this aside from the packaging, and you have to know that. I paid... $14 for this, for essentially what would be a medium Big Mac meal, but it is what it is. 
It's the as featured in meal, and it comes with special packaging. You see, this is the McDonald's fries. I don't give them credit for this, at least. You know, it's, I guess, you know, it's something. As featured in Space Jam, Fallen Angels, Run DMC, Coming to America, etc. All the, all the films that's been featured in there, etc. This is the Big Mac. I guess the Big Mac is just the Big Mac. So you've got that. Uh, this is the one thing people are hyped up for uh, promoting a new the Loki movie. I guess, what is that? The Loki 2, I guess? I'm not totally familiar, so don't take my word for it, but there you have it. This is just regular sweet and sour sauce, just with a special sticker on it. And then you've got the McDonald's cup, which was featured in all of this stuff. So there you have it. So $14, again, is what I paid for it. But again, I've seen reports online that the price can fluctuate by region. Uh, I've seen folks say that the uh, that they've only paid $10. Other people said 12. I got 14. Some people said 15. So it really just depends. So the price will vary. All right, I'm just going to try out these components very, very quickly because I've reviewed all of these before, so uh, I don't think I really need to spend much time on this, but let's just try out the quality. McDonald's fries. Crispy, salty, a little greasy, but not bad. Standard, completely standard McDonald's fries right there. So those are fine. Next, I'll take a sip of the Coca-Cola. Fine as well. Sweet, heavily carbonated, nice little bite to it. That's fine, totally standard. The Big Mac, let's see this. Let's see, let's see. A lot of lettuce by the looks of it. That, of course, comes with all the all the fixins, as they say. The uh, two beef patties, the cheese, the special sauce, pickles, cheese, lettuce on the sesame seed bun. A little sloppy looking, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to try that out. I will pause the camera while I eat, just because I want this to be a quick review, so I'll be right back in a moment. All right, and I have returned, as you could see. Snacked on the Big Mac a bit. It's a, it's a messy sandwich. Uh, that's just how it is, of course. I know it's not totally in focus. There we go. But it's a bit of a messy sandwich, of course. Always gets a little bit slippery, perhaps, and uh, the middle bun, you know, it is what it is. It slides around a little bit. But it's what I would describe as being a complete sandwich. Uh, the only thing that I would remark upon is that the quality of the beef, in this case, it was a little dry and just a little saltier than it usually is. Maybe slightly, slightly overcooked, but not to the point where it detracts at all from uh, what I would say the enjoyment of the meal itself is. It's still cheesy. The lettuce is crisp and uh, fresh, obviously. Nice little bite as well. Nice little zesty bite from the special sauce on the Big Mac. But overall, it's a complete sandwich. I'm happy with it. And uh, the quality of the Big Mac itself is totally fine for what it is. It is a standard Big Mac. Finally, the sweet and sour sauce, again with the special Loki sticker right there. When I unravel it, you could see. There it is, I'll try it out. Dip a fry in it. You remember when that guy in that movie ate these? And it's totally standard. Totally standard, regular, sweet and sour sauce uh, from McDonald's. 
I know, I get their sweet and sour sauce all the time. It's one of my favorite sauces of theirs, and uh, it's exactly the same. So, I have two things to say about this in conclusion. Number one, quality of this is acceptable. It's a standard Big Mac meal, essentially, from McDonald's. Fries are their fries. The Big Mac is their Big Mac. It's their sweet and sour sauce. It's their soft drinks. Everything is as it usually is. There is nothing special about this, aside from the packaging. Now, quality-wise, though, perfectly acceptable. And if you'd like a Big Mac meal, and you want the packaging, etc., uh, then go out and get this. Or if you really want to support McDonald's, or uh, if you're excited about the branding and you want to see one of the names on this or something, I mean, it's, you know, it's there for you to get. It's, it's up to you. It's a standard meal. Here's the thing, though. Like I said, I like to assess these also as far as the actual concept is concerned. And I don't want to be the person that hates everything. I know I've said that before, but in the end, uh, I will just say what's on my mind. And in this case, I, I am a bit disappointed. I now, I understand. The idea sounds like it could be something very promising on paper. But the fact of the matter is, this is just a repackaged, regular Big Mac meal from McDonald's that they decided, oh, it was in this movie 25 years ago for five seconds where some guy uh, ate a Big Mac, etc. So now we could make it a meal and make this more expensive than it usually is and make more money off of it. That's the name of the game. And, uh, you know, it disappoints me. I, I would have wished that there perhaps would have been a little more originality somehow. You know, I just would have, uh, I, I guess I just would have hoped for more. I'm sick and tired of seeing these, it's just the same old, same old, same items, same everything, nothing changed, nothing new, there's nothing, there's, there's nothing new about this. All right, new packaging, but that's it. Does that justify the hype? Does that justify the price increase? I don't think so. There was just a time when it would have been better than this, you know? There would have been more effort put into this. There would have been more originality, more creativity, more care. Instead, this just feels like some sort of lazy, uh, you know, very lazy ploy. All right, how could we make the most money by doing the absolute bare minimum? Well, just take everything that you have, the exact same meal, put a couple stickers on it, and uh, there you go. And a lot of people, you know, they just... They, they, they buy that right up. They'll think that this is some sort of new, special uh, meal that you should just be thrilled about. Like, you should be camped out in front of a McDonald's waiting to, for, this, for this thing to be released or something. But I don't know. It just... It bothers me in a way, I guess, when it's just like... You see things as stooping lower and lower. You could have gotten this meal, like I said earlier on, a year ago. Exact same thing exact same thing, aside from the packaging. You could have got this two years ago, 10, 15, 20 years ago, even 25 years ago. Exact same meal. But now all of a sudden this is supposed to be brand new and uh, something that you're supposed to be waiting in line for and paying a premium for. I just don't like it when this stuff happens, but it's the nature of the beast. I get it. These companies, they, you know, they want to make the maximum profits. It's the way it goes, you know? That's all there is to it. I just, I guess I wish uh, things could have been a little bit better. Because I see meal after meal now. This is like the fourth or fifth McDonald's meal that I've tried that's the same repackaged stuff. And uh, I guarantee there will probably be more. So quality-wise, it's fine. I enjoyed it. The idea, heck, even the idea itself is all right. But the execution still disappoints me. I just would have hoped for it to be a bit better. And it saddens me in a way that I just keep seeing the same thing over and over and over, and the price doesn't get any lower either. And uh, those are just my honest thoughts, but you could disregard them, go out and get this if you want. And uh, again, at least it's got the packaging. At least it has that going for it. And at least the quality is all right, too. But overall, that's okay. The originality or lack thereof still bothers me, but I don't know. 
Am I in the wrong there? Is this my problem? What do you think? Leave a comment if uh, you have any thoughts on these sorts of repackaged meals and uh, what you make of it all. But I just feel how I feel and that's all there is to it. So out of 10, I'm going to be giving the as featured in meal from McDonald's. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. It's all right for what it is. I wish there could have been more to it, but quality wise, it's all right. You know, that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching and until next time, I'm your host. The Report of the Week.